What is in the water here in Florida? Alligators? Oh, yes. Uh, also, Thanks. a lot of things that aren't supposed to be, quite frankly. A recent report actually said that the state ranks worst in the nation for polluted fresh water. And ranks second for most impaired estuaries. 10 Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin explains the impacts this has not only on our environment, but Malik, also on us. That's right. Tampa Bay is the biggest estuary in the state where the Hillsborough River dumps into the Gulf of Mexico. And when we don't care for our waters, what we put into it could end up going into us. When we think of Florida, it's probably not polluted waterways that come to mind. The Environmental Integrity Project's report painted a different picture. More than 99% of our estuaries are impaired and 89% of Florida lakes are too polluted to swim in. I would hope that people would realize the magnitude of it because um, that's that's the first step to um, affecting positive change. And when our waters are polluted, this is what we're left with. I mean, you, you wouldn't believe how much trash we pick out. We weren't even a mile away from Armature Works. We got almost 200 pounds of trash. 200 pounds of trash in a single cleanup by Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful. Aside from the trash ruining Tampa Bay's curb appeal, why should you care? It really is an issue. Because what's polluted into our waters hurts our aquatic life and may end up on your dinner plate, like bacterias or microplastics. Those are little itty bitty plastics that you can't even really, you know, see that our sea life are ingesting and it's going to be a full circle. Program scientist Marcus Beck says we're a part of the problem and have to be a part of the solution. A large percentage of it is, is urban and so that presents issues with stormwater runoff, wastewater treatment, um, you know, just uh, debris entering the system, contaminants, all sorts of things. Parts of Tampa Bay have concerning levels of bacteria, algae, and mercury. The scientists who study our water say the little things we do can make a big difference, like making sure lawn fertilizer doesn't end up going down storm drains. And Malik pointed this out to us. It's really easy for you to see how safe the water is for yourself right here on the EPA's website. You can go in and then you just type in your zip code right there and it'll show you how safe the water is in your area.